Scarbodge not built, so in this episode we're going to get some more done on the super. It's one of the first things we're going to get done. See an exhaust on it, one of my 3D printed ones, which aren't either. Hopefully get LED kit fitted for the customary lights. We've also got some number plates being sorted. And finally, I'm not too happy with these wheels. I don't think they suit the rear. So I've found some and designed and printed them. So we're going to get them on. So attaching the exhaust is actually pretty simple. Once you've decided where you want it, how far you want it to stick out, depending on which hole you want to mount it at. Place one of the magnets inside the bracket, but don't glue it in place. You'll see why in a second. Decide where you want to sit it on the shell. Take the other magnet and that will stick to that on the inside. Take a piece of tape. Secure the magnet to the outside. What you can do is add some shoe glue, then drop the other magnet on, it will be attracted to that one there, and that will give you your position. Allow it to dry. You can then remove the tape and the magnet from the outside. Secure your magnet inside the bracket. Stick it on the shelf. There you go, that's all mounted. Now we're going to take a look at getting the LED kit fitted. Now these come with some 3mm and some 5mm LEDs. I've designed the rear lights to take 3mm LEDs, which means some of these need changing. So we're going to get that done. So, due to the super having two tail lights and bright lights on each side, and this unit not having an option to run, say, the tail lights and dim the LEDs and then have them brighter for the bright lights. I'd like to modify the loom. Join the negatives together because the positives are always live. Add a resistor in. And that sorted that up. So now you can see when the brakes pressed. The LEDs get brighter. We've got the indicators and also the reverse. So now that's getting fitted into the actual lights. Now we have the lights fitted. So there's the tower lights on, bright lights. Indicators. In reverse. Next thing on the list, we'll get the number plate sorted. So these were the options for the number plate. Someone suggested, see you later. There's one for wheel spin models. And the other obvious choice they'd be made with recesses on the rear for magnets, so they can be magnet mounted. Let's see how some of them look on the car. Oh, we've got wheel spin. Here we have, see you later. And 
And here we have the two Jay Z. Which one do you like best? Let me know in the comments. Final bit in this video is we're going to get the front wheels done. So I'm going to throw a quick time lapse of me designing them in Fusion. Like just draining. Right, let's get them off and get them cleaned up. There's the wheels off the printer. Now just got to get them in the IPA, give them a clean up, and then remove the supports. Now I've got to give them a clean with some fresh IPA and a soft brush. Now I'm going to blow the excess IPA off and then let them air dry before curing. There they are, dried and cured. Now these wheels are made by a company called Weld and they're the Ventura 
drug design. I just got to get a bit of paint on them and then get them fitted. As the wheels painted, they're far from perfect, but I may end up reprinting them and doing the silver in a chrome instead. And doing the same on the rear wheels. Right, let's get them fitted. That's the wheels fitted. Now as much as I do like the TE37s, I think they suit it a bit better and actually match up with the rear. So I'm quite happy with how they've come out. Like I said, I know the paint's not perfect, but maybe I'll reprint these and do the silver and the chrome instead, same as what I did on the headlights. it for this video there are a few things I still want to do with it so ignore the fact that the wiring's a mess like I said I'm not over the moon with that light unit um, so I will probably end up replacing it because I also want to add some LEDs to the front I still intend on printing designing and printing a drag spoiler for it I did print a TRD rear wing, but the scale's not quite right and I need to add some mounting points as well. I also think I need to tint the windows. I may also try and make a rear diffuser for it. Maybe even some side skirts. Let me know what you think. And if you like this, like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.